Many of you have probably noticed that our company is talking about digital transformation a lot recently. It's not a brand new concept. Most companies are already aware of digital transformation and have been for years as they've tended to view it as a long-term goal to gradually work toward. But now it's really been picking up more momentum. A lot of folks may not have recognized the urgent need for digital transformation before the COVID pandemic, but they're certainly seeing it now. That's why there's a large scale velocity of companies accelerating their digital transformation journey and inductive automation is a major catalyst in this movement. But before we talk about why Ignition is ideal for accelerating digital transformation, let's quickly clarify what digital transformation really is about. So we're going to understand what we should be accelerating toward. Digital transformation obviously has a lot to do with technology, but it's not about technology for technology's sake or just putting new technologies on top of old ones. Uh, rather, it's really more of a comprehensive shift in the way that we do business. It's all about finding where there's room to improve our operations, then making those improvements in an intentional, methodological, and measurable way, leveraging modern technologies like cloud, big data, edge, and IIoT. Therefore, we should really think about digital transformation in terms of the different components. And we at Inductive Automation have split it up into three different sections. Uh, we've worked with a lot of companies and found that there are some consistencies in terms of what different areas people need to focus on. And so if you slice and dice that, you can break it down into processes, people, and programs. In terms of processes, we should really look at existing processes and ask, how can we streamline them? How can we rethink them using digital technologies? Can we create new processes where necessary? How do we overcome entrenched ways of doing things? If you think about people, think about the people inside the organization. How do we increase communication and collaboration? Could we improve our decision-making by making data more widely available? How will we teach our people new skills? How can technology help us improve the user experience? And if you think about processes, processes are basically how a business is running. People are the ones who are making decisions as to which processes to actually employ, how to employ those processes, and making decisions where processes don't exist. And then the last piece right here is programs. I should really view those programs or our technology. And, you know, people process programs is three Ps. It's easy to remember. The programs could also be labeled technology there. So we should really review those programs and think about the following. How can we improve operational efficiency and increase savings? How do we remove the limits imposed by outdated technology? And how will we navigate compatibility issues and avoid disruption or downtime? All three of these pieces are very important. We'll be focusing for most of the rest of the webinar on the program section or the technology, but make sure you don't lose sight of processes and people. Effective digital transformation really requires all three of those parts. And so let me talk a little bit about something that's uh, more abstract here. So I have a young daughter, and if I wanted to build her a playhouse, there would be a few steps. I could get the wood, have it shipped, put it in the backyard, and have it ready to go. But if I didn't have any tools, it would be really impossible to build it, at least using modern efficient construction techniques. They'd be sitting in the back with a bunch of cut pieces of wood, not knowing what to do or how to put them together. If I didn't have any nails, if I didn't have a hammer, you need tools in order to do things in modern ways. And you know, it's interesting. I have a staple gun that was passed down to me by my father. It worked great. But as soon as I ran out of staples, I went to the store to try to get more staples. And well, you guess where this is going. They didn't have any staples that were the right size. It was a special staple size that isn't the standard and isn't available. And for me, it made the tool practically useless going forward. This problem that I'm describing exists in the software industry as well. Proprietary tools that don't use standards can make life difficult for everyone. And I really like this analogy because I think that it brings it home why having standards, why having standard technologies, and why having standard sets of programs and, and, and the technology behind them is really important and brings it home in a way that is relatable for anyone who's ever tried to build something. So 
Eric, I wanted to ask you a question, throw this over your way. As an integrator, do you have any comments about the importance of having the right digital tools for digital transformation? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, using standard tools within a tool set uh, is, is essential. And so typically what I'm looking for in a tool set is depth, extensibility, integration capabilities, protocols and, and things like that that are just standard that you can use out of the box to integrate with other things because nobody wants a solution that exists in a silo. What I find is that depth usually comes at the cost of accessibility, which is why I spent a lot of time in C Sharp. But Ignition does a great job of meeting people where they're at to get them off the ground running quickly and still enabling them to go deeper and dive deeper and, and build cooler things as they progress in the stack. So that's kind of what I liked about it. Thanks, Eric. Um, Arlen, did you have anything you wanted to add to that? Well, yeah, I mean, I think when we talk about digital transformation, there's this propensity that, oh, it's digital transformation, therefore we must go write code. And, you know, we're all about, and, and part of this webinar is about, you know, tools on platforms, not coding on operating systems. So I think the more that we can use the tools that Ignition as a platform, I mean, forget about whether it's SCADA or HMI or, or DCS or whatever, it's really about the tools on a platform that we're going to leverage. Thanks, Arlen. Yeah, it's, you know, it's interesting to me too that, Eric, you mentioned C Sharp in there, and I've definitely programmed my fair share of things in C Sharp. I come from a very technical background. And, you know, the, the difference between building something using tools versus building something using code, um, using basically going really low level as opposed to using tools to, to build something in a more rapid way is something that originally drew me to inductive automation. It's something that made me want to work for, for inductive automation and have a hand inside Ignition. So you're, you're speaking, you're a man after my own heart there, Eric. <laughs> so thanks guys.